Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. A Play-Doh ice cream sundae surprise. Here you can see I have a delicious ice cream sundae, complete with spoon. Let's take off the cherry and see if there's anything inside this raspberry ripple ice cream. Nothing inside there. What about this mint choc chip ice cream? Ah, it's Sherry Tomato. Hello. What's inside this caramel ice cream? It's Anna from Frozen. Hello everyone. And what's inside this purple ice cream? It's Garlic Rose. Hello. Here you can see I have a giant multicoloured sundae. Who's hiding in the middle? It's Penny Purse. Hello everyone. So we have Anna. Sherry Tomato, Penny Purse and Garlic Rose. Hey everybody, I'm getting ready for the ball. Do I look okay? You look lovely. Yes, très chic. Mm, you look okay. Only okay, Penny Purse? Yes, I just think you could have the dress in gold perhaps. I love gold. No. I think you look fine, Anna. Thanks, everybody. Where is this ball, anyway? Can I come along? Sure. There'll be lots of dancing. Come on, let's all go. Now let's learn how to make our Play-Doh ice cream sundae surprise. Take some yellow Play-Doh and roll into a ball. Next, take some purple Play-Doh. Put the toy inside and roll into a ball. Put your next toy inside some yellow Play-Doh with some orange Play-Doh rolled in. Take some light pink and dark pink Play-Doh and roll them together into another ball. Take your next toy and roll into a ball of green Play-Doh. Next take some brown Play-Doh and flatten with the rolling pin. Cut out a wafer shape using a template and a blunt knife. Be careful when using a knife and get an adult to help you. Repeat on the other side. Using the knife create the pattern of the wafer. Make lots of lines going one way and then make the lines going the other way. Use a small piece of red Play-Doh for the cherry. Next, take some blue Play-Doh and roll it flat. Wrap it around a cocktail stick and using the knife, make a flag shape. There we have our flag. Now let's take our ice cream sundae glass and arrange the ice cream. Place all the ice cream on top of each other. Use small brown pieces of Play-Doh to make the chocolate chips. Put the cherry into the ice cream and also the flag. And finally, let's add our wafer. You can experiment and make lots of different styles of ice cream. Play-Doh ice cream. Doesn't this look delicious? So good you could almost eat it. All you're gonna need is green Play-Doh, 
pink Play-Doh, yellow Play-Doh, orange Play-Doh, a rolling pin, brown Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife, and white Play-Doh. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to roll out our orange Play-Doh. We're going to make the cones out of this colour. Do a big zigzag so we end up with four different triangles. So the first thing to do is to add scoring to the body. We do this in one direction diagonally and then in the other direction diagonally. The next thing we've got to do is to make the actual important bit, the ice cream. I'm going to make circles out of white and pink. So that's vanilla and strawberry. Add them to the ice cream cone, like so. It's looking delicious already, isn't it? Now I'm going to make some other ice cream cones with other flavours. Don't forget to score the cones. This just adds extra detail. Now I'm going to roll out some yellow Play-Doh. Banana flavoured ice cream, delicious! And more strawberry. Yummy! Why don't we try some green for mint flavoured ice cream? Delicious! And finally, let's get the brown Play-Doh. This is for chocolate ice cream, of course! Also, we're going to make some delicious flake bars out of the brown to add detail to our ice cream. Don't forget to score the brown Play-Doh, then they really do look like flakes. Remember, you can't eat these though. Now I'm going to use some of the brown Play-Doh to add chocolate chips to the mint ice cream. Delicious! Now all we have to do is assemble our ice creams. So I'm going to add a flake to my strawberry and mint chocolate chip. I've got chocolate and banana and then chocolate and mint chocolate chip. Delicious! Don't forget to add your flake bars. And there you have it. That's how you make Play-Doh ice cream. It's so delicious you could eat it, but don't forget, you shouldn't. Play-Doh ice cream bars. Now these look super delicious, but don't forget, you can't actually eat them. All you need to make them is a knife, a template, a rolling pin, coloured Play-Doh, and some popsicle sticks. Remember, you can use whatever colour you like. So the first thing I've done is to flatten out my green Play-Doh. Now I'm tracing my template to cut out the shape of the ice cream. Now I'm doing the same thing with the orange Play-Doh. Now it's time to put the popsicle sticks in the bottom of the ice cream. Don't forget to decorate! I'm using pink spots on the green. They look cool, don't they? And now using the white, I'm cutting out another template. But this time, I'm cutting out some stripes and some triangles. Don't they look cool? And there you have it. It was that easy. Play-Doh ice cream bars. Thanks for watching. Play-Doh sandwich ice cream. Really simple, but it looks so real. So all you need for this is a rolling pin, a knife, a pencil, some brown Play-Doh, and some white Play-Doh. The first thing we're going to do is split our brown Play-Doh in half. This is to make the top and the bottom of the sandwich. 
roll it out with your rolling pin into roughly a rectangle shape. Then we're going to trim the edges using your knife. Repeat with the other half of the brown Play-Doh. Now we have the bottom and the top layers. And finally, we just have to make the ice cream. So get half of your white Play-Doh and repeat the same process again. Make sure that it's exactly the same size as the top and bottom layers. Now we just need to curve the edges using your fingers and layer it up. Yummy! And for the finishing touches, we just need to put some holes in the top using our pencil. And there you have it, a Play-Doh sandwich ice cream.